Curtis Jades here, and this is my 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L with 50,000 miles, which is relatively new. Most of these cars are under 30,000, but not very many have reached the 50,000 mile mark. I'm gonna go over everything that's wrong with it. I have all the service history of this vehicle, and we'll see if the Jeep reliability, um, or unreliability, I should say, that people associate with Jeep Grand Cherokees, if it is true or not for this vehicle. So like I said, this is a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L and this is the very first model year for the WL platform, which is their newest body style. And um, Jeep has not been very well known for their reliability and you sometimes will hear people say that Jeep stands for just empty every pocket because you're always gonna be throwing money at them. They have big expensive repairs, electronics that go bad, motors that blow, all sorts of crazy stuff. And I was a little skeptical when I bought this car because we did want to get a little bit bigger vehicle and that's why I went with the L, which is the long wheelbase, which has the third row. And overall, I'm very satisfied with this vehicle. It is a really awesome car. It's got a whole lot of tech packed into it, a lot of standard features. It looks really nice and it does have the extra row, which is really awesome for little kids. And uh, the one thing that made me a little bit more likely to purchase this vehicle, it was a CPO, which is a certified pre-owned vehicle, which means that it has a little bit of an extended factory warranty for just the driveline, the powertrain. Um, so I was a little skeptical. But uh, going through this list, this is everything that's been done to the car in the past 50,000 miles over the past two years. There is nothing that wouldn't be considered normal wear and tear items or normal consumable items. It just got a brand new set of tires, it had 50,000 miles on the original tires. These are brand new tires on the car. It's gone through several sets of wiper blades, several oil changes, several cabin air filters, several uh, engine air filters. Uh, a new set of brake pads and rotors on the rear. The fronts are the same original pads and rotors that it was built with from the factory. Um, but other than topping off fluids, oil changes, wipers, normal consumables, there hasn't been anything else. That's been it. There's been the recalls done. I'm sure there's been a few software updates, but there's been no issues. Now, the other thing I will say though, is a lot of the times, these issues don't start to pop up until you get closer to 100,000 miles or over 100,000 miles on vehicles and you'll get into more problems once you get to that point. I think another thing too to think about is a lot of the times you hear about people having all these really crazy issues and it seems like those happen really early on in the vehicle's life and once those issues are sorted out, the electrical issues, the big mechanical issues, once they're sorted out, they typically don't have issues anymore down the road. And so you'll have a lot of issues in the first couple months or year when you purchase it, the first 10, 15, 20,000 miles, all the wiggles get, get fixed and worked out. And, or the other side of that is the car won't have those issues and it will be fine the rest of its life. Um, and so a lot of the times you hear about a lot of people with bad experiences because all the people that are having good experiences aren't coming on the forums, aren't going online and talking about how their car is totally fine and nothing's wrong with it. I think a lot of times you hear all these stories about uh, certain cars, certain brands having big problems when it's really the, a very small minority of people that have that vehicle do have severe problems, which isn't common. Almost every single vehicle that's made these days is really reliable for the most part. And there is a very small percentage, again, that have these huge issues, but it's super overblown how many of the cars actually have big problems with them. Um, and then the other thing I'm really interested in is how the next 50 or 100,000 miles do go with this vehicle. And I will be doing a 100,000 mile update once we get there in a couple years. Um, so subscribe if you'd like to check out and see what I do with this vehicle in the future.